let's start with the question of why. Why have you chosen to take the path that you are on today? Are you happy with that path and where it may lead? How has your path changed over the years? Do you find that you are on a course to fulfilling your dreams? Or have circumstances in your life caused you to change course and alter your goals? I was born and raised in New Jersey and grew up as a Christian. You might say that the first superhero in my life was Jesus. And I found the stories of his healing the sick to be truly inspiring. It is one of the reasons why I wanted to dedicate my life to healing others. As with many people, I grew up with a large extended family, and we often spent time with my grandparents on both sides of the family. It seemed odd to me that people would have to change so drastically as they aged, and before I was 10, the thought entered my mind that growing old was just something that I did not want to become. Then, when I was 15, there was a moment that would change my life forever. I was sitting and watching the Merv Griffin show, and his guest was Dirk Pearson. Dirk Pearson and Sandy Shaw had written a book called Life Extension, and hearing about the research that was being done in the 1970s to slow down and possibly reverse aging was incredible. I was completely hooked. I went out and bought a copy of this book and read it many times. Since this time, I have never stopped in my quest to find solutions to aging and practical age reversal. There are many, many good reasons as to why we should be seeking to solve the problem of aging. First, aging is a disease. It is a destructive process that leaves an individual more and more incapacitated, both physically and mentally. Stopping aging would allow people to retain their physical and mental health throughout their life. Second, aging reduces a person's ultimate potential. Think of all of the information and experience you have acquired throughout your life. Imagine all you would be able to accomplish with this experience and all of the good that you could do if aging was not a limiting factor that would force you into retirement. Third, aging changes a person's mindset. When we are young, most people have dreams they wish to achieve because they see a full, vibrant life ahead of them. But then as aging sets in, they see less of a life ahead of them and less time to accomplish what they wanted to. So many people simply give up on their dreams. If aging was not a limiting factor, people would have more time to have the fulfillment of achieving their dreams. There is also the practical impact to consider, which is namely, how would society change if people were not aging the way that they do today? For one, health care costs and health care insurance would plummet because a young, healthy body is more immune to sickness and disease. The health disorders we normally associate with aging would virtually disappear. With the advancement of stem cell science, all major diseases could become a thing of the past. So our healthcare system would change radically and for the better. There would also be an enormously beneficial outcome for business. Imagine working with an individual with more than 50 years or more of experience in their industry. This level of experience could not be easily replaced and now people that would normally be in retirement would be making contributions that would previously had not been possible. So stopping and reversing aging would also mean that we as a species would be forced to be more responsible when it concerns the health and well-being of this planet. If politicians knew they could live for several hundred years, Perhaps the way that they think about policies 
that affect the environment would change. We all want clean air, clean water, organic food and sustainability, and preservation of our Earth's natural resources. If people knew they could live longer, then perhaps they would care more about the impact their lives are having on the world around them. So let's agree that aging is a problem that needs to be solved. How do we go about doing this? After all, people have thought of and searched for the fountain of youth for thousands of years. Fortunately, God has provided a path for humans to achieve this because the answer is found in nature. When we look to nature for solutions, we find answers that are in harmony with the world around us. For example, lobsters have been found that are more than 130 years old, and these lobsters have never aged. In fact, they get stronger as they age. And this all happens without any type of drug or intervention. It's a natural process. What is one of the lobster's secrets to achieving this? Lobsters produce an infinite amount of the enzyme telomerase, so their cells can divide virtually an infinite number of times, and they never age during this process. We'll come back to this subject in a few minutes. Then there are mollusks that live to be over 500 years old, never aging over this incredibly long period of time. How do the mollusks achieve this? They have perfect control over oxidative stress and inflammatory stress, among other things. So their cells never experience any type of damage that cannot be repaired. Trees are another great example. Trees live for thousands of years. The glass sea sponge is estimated to have a lifespan of more than 11,000 years. And life forms such as planaria, the immortal jellyfish, and tardigrades do not appear to have any limit to their lifespan at all, effectively being immortal. Think about this just for a moment. For millennia, human beings have dreamt of immortality, with most people being skeptical that this could ever be achieved. Yet, unknown for most of humanity's existence, there already were life forms on this planet that are immortal. How would people's belief systems had changed centuries ago if they knew that life on this planet had achieved the seemingly impossible, namely, never aging? How would your mindset change if you knew that stopping and reversing aging was achievable? Let's use the example of the four minute mile. As this story goes, experts had stated that the human body was not capable of running a four minute mile. It simply was not possible according to athletes and scientists. Then in the 1940s, the mile record was held at four minutes, one second, where it stood for nine years as runners struggled with the idea that maybe the experts had it right. Perhaps the human body had reached its limit. Then, on May 6, 1954, Roger Bannister broke the four-minute barrier, running the distance in three minutes and 59 seconds. So how was Roger Bannister able to achieve this? It is said that as part of his training, he visualized the achievement in order to create a sense of reality in his mind and body. Barely a year after Bannister's accomplishment, someone else ran a mile in under four minutes. Then some more runners did. Now it's almost routine. Even strong high schoolers today run four minute miles. The moral to this story is clear. Once people's belief systems changed, breaking the seemingly impossible four minute mile became commonplace. Will this happen with age reversal? Once the first human achieves age reversal, 
will more people take notice and follow? What if age reversal in humans already existed? So the question now becomes, can we discover and understand how species on our planet seemingly cheat aging? Can we learn their secret and adapt this secret to human beings? The exciting answer to this is yes, and it is happening today. At LifeWave, we investigate multiple paths to practical age reversal. And we have in fact been successful at partial age reversal of the aging process in humans as measured in blood testing. How can we measure this analytically? There are many ways of doing this. As we age, the number of times a cell can divide it is decreased. Eventually, human cells lose the ability to divide, and then eventually there's no more cells. This is called the Hayflick limit. The Hayflick limit is associated with the length of the telomeres, small rods that are on the end of our chromosomes. As the cells divide, the telomeres are shortened. Once we run out of telomeres and our cells can no longer divide, we are on a quick path to death. Incredibly, cancer cells are virtually immortal because their telomeres never shorten. So if humans gain the ability to prevent or reverse telomere shortening, we will be on the way to practical age reversal and life extension. As we discussed earlier, lobsters have the amazing ability to stay young throughout their lifetime. And it is at least partially because their telomeres never shorten. So in fact, we are not looking to make an entirely new discovery, which would be extremely difficult. But we are instead looking to adopt what the lobster and other species are doing by applying this to humans. There is more to reversing aging than just the telomeres though. In order to achieve age reversal, we must manage inflammation and oxidative stress, protect gene expression, keep the cells hydrated, and maintain energy production in the cellular machinery we call the mitochondria. If we do these things, we can protect the integrity and the structure of the cell and dramatically inhibit aging. Fortunately, equipment and tests exist that allow us to monitor all of these parameters. Blood and urine testing helps to keep track of changes in inflammation and oxidative stress. Equipment such as RJL, GDV, biopulsars, and galvanic skin response, among others, allow us to monitor the mitochondrial health and bioelectrical activity of the cell and how it might improve over time. And even biophoton analysis allows us to determine the status of cell coherence, which is ultimately associated with a person's age. It should be noted that while research into new LifeWave patches for age reversal is always ongoing, there are other technologies we develop for achievement of this goal. This technology is biomimetic in nature, meaning I look to copy a natural process and apply it to human beings in the hope that this will result in a new technology and product capable of improving the quality of human life. Let's look at one example in nature and how research into this phenomena is paving a way towards creating a biomimetic technology that will allow us to achieve dramatic life extension in humans. A story came out this past year about the Temnothorax ant. Apparently, this species of ant can be infected with a parasitic tapeworm that resides in the ant's gut. But what makes this interesting to us is that the relationship between the ant and the tapeworm is symbiotic, meaning the two species are helping one another. The tapeworm benefits from the relationship 
because the ant provides the tapeworm with food and shelter. The ant, on the other hand, is given the incredible gift of youth and life extension. The ant never ages, and its lifespan increases by an incredible five to six times above normal. How would you like to live to be over 500 years old and never age? Upon investigation, it was discovered that the tapeworms are causing specific genes in the ants to express. And this causes the ants to produce more energy than they would normally. This discovery is completely consistent with the concepts we and others have been researching. Namely, elevate energy production in the cell and the genes will flip back to a youthful state, reversing the aging process. So, in other words, knowing that a process exists in nature which allows ants to never age and live up to six times longer than normal, we then can seek to create technology that can mimic this process in a healthy way, test the process in our labs for safety and efficacy, and then eventually proceed to human testing. Our development of technology to achieve this is farther along than most people would think, and the future has never been more exciting. We are on the path to achieving practical age reversal in humans, and we look forward to releasing new products in the coming years to help set you on this path as well. Many times when we are faced with a problem in our lives, the problem can feel enormous and impossible to overcome, like the problem of age reversal. We can face daily challenges or some big overarching challenge. As difficult as these situations may be, there are always solutions. And with this new, longer and healthy life in front of you, imagine the dreams you have had that you can now fulfill so you can live your why. We all have a contribution to make in life so that we can make this planet a better place to live. We look forward to providing you with the tools you need so you can fulfill your own dreams, have the time you need to do that, and create your own success story.